our lives of life, our partners, our children, and this is part of America. This is the beginning of existence of America where it's the almighty dollar. You know, is a lot of times gonna win. If, if, if people have to die, all right, I gotta make, I gotta make my money. It comes down to basic. People know what's right and wrong. People know, and they make that decision which way they which way they want to go. That's you know, it's it's very difficult for people to to look look within. And I say that because everybody has the power to shift. Change doesn't always have to be big. Sometimes it can be just a little shift of speaking your truth well, in a friggin' room. Rosa Parks sitting down? Rosa Parks of going into a room filled with, I don't know, male executives and going, you know what? I, 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 I'm a single mom. My, my kid needs to be picked up from school in, a, in another hour. And, and there's no one to pick her up. I, I, I gotta do that. I, I wanna do my job, but allow me to leave for 30 minutes to pick up my kid. And the more you cater to those needs, it's, it will make your business better. What is it to say that, My dude, Joseph Campbell, the great intellectual myth, one of the things he said, you know, he said with the whole journey of a hero is that you have a call to adventure when you're born. That everybody is unique, right? And you're born, and then somehow you feel like you don't fit in, right? And then something calls you to a greater adventure, getting out of your small town, pursuing a dream, and you resist. And then someone gives you the courage to then follow it. And then you go out, right? You slay dragons, you get mentors, you get allies, blah, 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 blah. You fight, you fight, you almost, you know, you, you slay the dragon. But what's the final step that he says? In getting that elixir and that hero status, you got to go to that inmost cave. And you don't come face to face with God. You come face to face with yourself. And it's at that point that you absolutely are two steps away from feeling like you're going to lose your life. But you don't. You face it. Don Quixote, right? And then after that, what does he say? You finish that journey, you get that elixir, and you piggyback, and you share it with the people that you left behind. That's how it works. But if you have a whole lot of people who can look over at their fellow man and completely look at them from a, a, a point of power and status and not from a place of seeing yourself, then we're going to continue just going to AI and Lord knows where AI is going to go. We're going to lose sense of each other. That's why you're a teacher. We're out of time. You're well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Your parting message, right, David, the way to create big change is to just individually do something. Do something small to be that change agent. We have an auditorium filled with people who know a whole lot about technology, who know a whole lot about AI. What can every person in this room do now? We need to look deep into our souls touch that part of our humanity and decide we want to be a motherfucking machine. <laughs> Oops, I said I wasn't cursing you. <laughs> oh, it's like the famous quote, it's like, who wants a change? 
It's like a cartoon. Who wants to change? This guy's on a podium and everybody raises their hand. We want to change. And then this next question is, who wants to change? And no one raises their hand. <laughs> we got to want to change. We can't let the culture and our environment dictate who we are. It's got to be the other way around. We dictate it. It's the people who make the community. And it's the people who decide, especially when you're tapped into your story, you get to write the ending. Not a machine. <laughs> and the question for the audience is who wants to change?